Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Twinkies. Welcome back, Gems. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Gems. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Yes. Shout out to the beautiful Soul family as well. Thank you so much, Soul Tribe, for your love and your support. It truly is an honor always to have you here and evolving with me. And welcome back to my returning subscribers as well. Thank you all for your support, your comments, and your feedback. It is definitely a pleasure to have you here, all right? Welcome again to the ones that are new here as well, Gems. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, Gems, don't forget to subscribe as well. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family. And definitely be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I do go live on this channel for all 12 signs and even love live stream questions. If you have a question that you would love to ask Tarot through my assistance, all right? So no further ado, Gems, let's go ahead and dive in. This is a general love reading today, all right? So definitely take your what resonates for you, Gems, and leave on the table what does not. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, my email details are down below in the description box. All right, so no further ado, let's go ahead and dive in, Jim. Let's see what's coming towards you for love and romance. We're going to first start with the Kipper deck to get some insight of your reading today. See what the crowning of your reading here is all about when it comes to love and romance. And then we'll get some tarot out here to clarify who is in your energy here and why. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in, Jim. Let's see what we have here for you for today. What's coming towards Gemini for love and romance? What's going on in Gemini's love life here? All right, wow. Well, look at there. I love it. We have marriage, okay? So this situation involves marriage, all right? Whomever this person that you are connecting with this person may see you in this way, shape, form, or fashion here, okay? Someone see you as someone that they would love to commit with, take things to the next level here with, Gems, okay? This could be involving a marriage or someone could be married in this situation or circumstance here. Let's get more insight here on the marriage card, okay? What else, Gordon Angels and Ancestors, when it comes to love and romance here for Gemini? What else when it comes to love for gems? All right. Wow, we have the privileged lady here. This is the divine feminine, all right, in the traditional tarot deck here. This is considered as the divine feminine empress energy here in Kipper as well. So let's see what else. All right, I'm loving what's coming out here so far. The mature woman. All right, so we got two feminine energies here. And we have marriage in the middle here. So this could be involving a third party situation for some of y'all. Don't necessarily have to be. This could be a mother figure here as well, Gemini. All right. So let's get some tarot out here and let's clarify. And then at the bottom here, we have unexpected income, Gems. Okay. So some of y'all may or is about to receive an unexpected offer of an exchange of an income. This could be a new stream of income that's being added to the income that you already have, Gems. Congratulations, by the way. All right. Or this person that you are exchanging energies with may also be receiving an unexpected income advancement to the connection here that they may want to share with you or vice versa. You want to share this information with this person. But let's dive in here. Let's pull out some tarot here, Gems. And let's clarify the cards here and let's see who is this person that is in your energy here and why, all right? Wow, Gems, if the reading so far is resonating for you, smash that like button, all right? That'd be very much appreciated and share the message here with who you know the reading may resonate for. Let's start with the privileged lady here. Let's clarify the privileged lady here. Why do we have the privileged lady here, the Empress energy? we have the privileged lady here 
Why do we have the privileged lady here? Clarify the privileged lady here. All right, we have three cards coming. Well, four cards coming out clarifying the privileged lady. So let me adjust the cards here. So that way we could be able to have room here for you, gems. We got here the nine of wands. Some of y'all, this could be a Sagittarius here, a Leo or an Aries here. The nine of wands talks about holding on to burdens and now realizing that and putting these burdens down, coming to an end and wanting to wrap up a cycle here, okay? We have here the ten of wands, okay? Wow, we go from quickly the nine of wands to the ten of wands. So whomever this divine feminine energy here is, um, rather this is you, Gemini, or this person here, they have decided to put things here to an end, okay? This could have been someone that was in a marriage here and that is now being overwhelmed and is now ready to put this marriage or relationship here to an end here, okay? We have, yeah, the four of wands. So this is definitely indicating a relationship here that someone has established here uh, that has been ready to put this situation to an end. So whoever this divine counterpart was connected to, right, if this is you, Gemini, ready to put a situation here to an end with your partner or vice versa, your person, your partner is ready to put some type of cycle here either with you to an end or with an X here to an end here. Again, take it how it resonates for you. We have the page of wands here. Wow, yeah, because I feel like you or this person is ready for new love, okay? The page of wands talks about uh, new opportunities, new ways and desires of things. Um, the page of wands also talks about things that you pretty much would like to manifest and you see as an opportunity here. And whoever this person here is, Gemini, they see you as a great opportunity here. Someone that they would love to be in a commitment or relationship here with. So some of y'all are ending a relationship from your past and going into a new relationship with someone new. All right. Others of you all, you have someone that is wanting to come in, Gemini, and apologize to you with that page of wands energy because you have now decided to put this relationship that you had with this person here to an end. And someone wants to come in and apologize for their behavior or what caused you two to be in the space environment that you're in now. Okay. Let's clarify the marriage cards here. Wow. Why do we have the marriage card here for Gemini placements? Clarify the marriage card. Why do we have the marriage card here for Gemini placements? Clarify the marriage card, please. Okay, we have the King of Swords here, and we have the Eight of Cups here. Wow. Yeah, this person has definitely decided to walk away, or vice versa, you, Gemini. I feel like more so you have decided to walk away from a marriage here or a commitment, Gemini, that you no longer feel is resonating with you or no longer serves any purpose in this marriage or commitment anymore. And you are now walking away. You're no longer emotionally even fulfilled by this person here with the Eight of Cups coming out here. I see you setting boundaries here in your energy as the King of Swords. You're stepping into your masculine energy um, and you're taking accountability and you're letting this person know like, look, I've done all I could do here. This has become very overwhelming and draining for me. I've put in the effort here, but I'm not able to unfortunately do this all by myself. And at this point, I'm no longer wanting to be involved in this commitment or marriage here. So you're letting this person know that you're deciding to move forward here. So, wow. Let's clarify the mature woman. 
clarify the mature woman. Some of y'all have just realized and you have matured when it comes to the type of relationships that you have chosen to establish your time and energy in. Because of this experience that you've had, your Gemini, I feel like this is what has allowed you to evolve with coming out and showing up as a mature woman to a different, a new stage of enlightenment to know like, okay, these are the type of people that I need to have in my life surrounding me. And this is the type of energy or person I do not need to have around me in my life. You know, let's clarify the mature woman. Why do we have the mature woman? Why do we have the mature woman here? Why do we have the mature woman here? Wow, the two of cups. Yeah. You are mature enough to know what, again, you want to have to allow you to be happy. Some of y'all are connecting, again, like I said, with someone new with the Two of Cups here. That is a new energy that you're connecting with. Again, this person could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here as well. All right? Uh, or a fire sign here or an air sign. But you're definitely connecting with someone here that's way much on a better environment in space and energy in their life. Excuse me there. That's confirmation from my device here. Wow. So let's go ahead and see here what this person has to say about this here. And look at that. We got Empress at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at that. You're coming into your divine feminine energy. Rather, if you are a feminine or a masculine energy here, but you're opening up and you're utilizing your heart space and you're connecting with someone that's on your frequency vibration as your divine counterpart here okay so let's see what this person here wants to say wow we have healing here okay some of you all this person here is in a space an environment where they're healing here and i feel like as so as you are as well here gemini wow we have fake account user okay so there is someone here, I feel like the person that you decided to put things to an end here with, Gemini, they could be utilizing and watching you and this person from a fake account, okay? We also have, yeah, look at that. Give me another chance, please. Yeah, you definitely have someone here that is wanting to come in. And remember, I mentioned earlier with that page of cups energy here that someone was coming in to apologize to you, all right? Yeah, look at that. If I could go back and change time, okay? So someone definitely regrets what they've done here or what has caused this relationship here to be conflicted here with you, all right? Yeah, we have, I will never go back again. So some of y'all, this could have been involved in a third party situation here. Uh, we do have over three different women here, I would say, so there could have been definitely a third party situation here that you decided to remove yourself from, you know? Let's see what else this person here wants to say here. I believe you, okay? So maybe you informed this person about what was going on um, and the fact that you felt like this person was, you know, maybe causing some issues here or problems because of the conflicts that they were involving themselves in and putting you in this third party situation here. Wow, we got you do something to me every time, Gemini. Wow. All right. So I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. Uh, if you, again, would love to book a personal reading, Jill, so we can get more insight, more details, and definitely see what's the potential outcome for you and this person in the near future. Again, my email details are down below, and thank you all so much for sharing your time with me today, Jims. and definitely come and check us out on Patreon for more content from the channel here, all right? I love you, I appreciate you all, and I definitely wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Mwah. Bye-bye.